Hello Indie Game fans! Oh my gosh, July 2019 was such an awesome month for new indie games with some of my favourite experiences of the year so far, but as always, we will start with some quick picks worth checking out. Their excavation of dangerous ancient technology must be stopped. Take control of the White Fangs and resist the Denolden Empire across an epic campaign. If you love Advanced Wars, Tiny Metal Full Metal Rumble will be of interest. A very blatant spiritual successor down to the theme, this is the sequel to the 2017 game, but is yet another example of refinement and advancement of the concept, with quality of life improvements, new mechanics, more characters, new biomes and more. Perhaps aping Wargroove a little, there are now commander powers as well, so get this for your tactics fix. Tiny Metal Full Metal Rumble Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom only makes the quick picks, mainly because this was originally released in 2018 but just only made it to Steam which, like a couple of you, is where I primarily play. The cartoony look combined with item and animal form based metroidvania elements is awesome, so no surprise that it revealed very well and the port so far is excellent as well. Singapore-made Songbird Symphony is an adorable platformer mixed with rhythm game elements where you play as an orphan bird seeking out his true origins and trying to find other members of his species. The platforming is not particularly challenging, but exploration and helping other forest creatures rewards you with musical notes as a collectible together with their smiling, happy faces. The rhythm game portion is non-traditional as well with pretty great music. And so, I was born. Horus is an excellent adventure platformer where you play as the robot Horus. For a pixel art platformer, surprisingly, the story is the main draw here, with Horus finding himself getting into trouble, and this has mini games and mechanics which are novel and varied. Play Entertainment, Oxygen Not Included, is a space colony survival simulation game where your crew has to gather resources, research technology, and thrive on alien asteroids. As with these games, the emergent gameplay and stories that you can tell is the main draw, since things like oxygen level, water, and temperature are all modeled in this game, together with needs for food and sleep. There's a whole piping system, as well as an electrical power grid, and this did get its hooks deep into many people through the course of early access. I have been staving off the temptation to get it while it was being developed, so the 1.0 release is a great time to get in. Moving on, here are the top 5 best indie games for July 2019. Summer Catchers is a delightful experience that sees you driving across the land in the pursuit of experiencing the warmth of summer for yourself. I previously covered the game due to the pixel art which is beautiful, and having played the game, 
The sheer variety of the biomes and the mystical and fantastical sights, from a mysterious, shimmering elk spirit to the flying whales shown off in the trailer, really is a sight to behold. The gameplay, however, seems to be a little on the simplified side, with timing the use of items being the main system, but there are wonderfully wholesome and quaint systems, such as scrapbooking and sending postcards that are just a delight. This trip, much like far loan sales, is well worth going on. One thousand years ago, the wind, waves, and sun brought ashore the band of settlers to a wilderness full of exotic and savage creatures. They found themselves here in a place unlike any other. Cut off from the rest of the world, these castaways made this island their own, living amongst a collection of wildlife that's strange, rare, and utterly unique. Eagle Island is a pixel art roguelite metroidvania, which has quite an interesting gameplay structure. It is not a full roguelite as per Dead Cells, but rather there is a story campaign and overworld map, but the individual dungeons where you get rewarded with your metroidvania abilities are procedurally generated and roguelite in nature. As such, perks only last in that dungeon, resetting to zero when you return to the overworld, so an interesting structure for sure. That aside, the gameplay involves jumping around and throwing your owl at enemies, with the various elemental forms playing a significant role since this game is all about the combos. Looks great, plays great, and has a number of accessibility options that make it very friendly to all gamers. Fans of Factorial, listen up. You should definitely check out Automa Chef since this is basically Factorial but with less alien threats and more hamburgers and hot dogs. Build various automated kitchens and optimize your production lines to be the most efficient in terms of energy and ingredient usage as well as overall cost. The writing is dry and funny with a robot that thinks it's human as the main narrator but the ability to tweak machines down to at what interval ingredients get generated, to simple logic commands of switching on the grill only when there is a pending food order, is so granular and awesome if your brain works in that way. Engineer tomorrow's kitchens today. If you watched my video on the top 10 local multiplayer indie games, Blazing Chrome featured on that list as its most recent title, since this is without a doubt a tribute to Contra Hardcore, aping everything from the art style, weapon upgrades, and running gun action. However, Brazilian indie developer Joy Masher is extremely good at what they do with a love of retro games and I'm very, very impressed by the pixel art. This game just feels great to play, even better with a friend, and this was just an awesome experience in July. The long-awaited Nowhere Prophet 
also made the Steam launch and is a roguelite tactical card game where you play as the prophet and have to lead your followers across the post-apocalyptic wasteland. We have FTL-style node exploration and random events, but the main combat system is played on a 4x3 grid where positioning matters. These units are almost Magic the Gathering-like, with an attack and health value, but the unique thing is that these are not expendable, since every unit represents one of your followers, and you can permanently lose them if they get wounded enough times. I really like this personally, and it could just be the next massive roguelite hit. For more of the best indie games, do check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.